everybody, this is Keith here of Euphoria Pictures. Welcome back to my channel. Right, folks, so this video is going to be a simple unboxing video. I got this beautiful, and I mean beautiful, collector's edition through the door. It was gifted to me by my good friend, Connor Gray. And if you are aware of my channel, you have to be aware of some of the amazing gifts that man has sent me over the years. As a matter of fact, I've said this in a few videos, I said it to a few friends as well. If it wasn't for Connor and some of his incredible gifts, I would not have a single Umbrella Entertainment edition in this room. I am not kidding. Every single title from Umbrella Entertainment is because of Connor. And he has done it again. He has sent me another beautiful release from them. It is Masters of the Universe. And as you can see, it does come in this rather beautiful collector's set. Now, it has a nice, hard, rigid box on this one. You do get the standard Amore edition inside this. It does come with a beautiful slipcover as well. You've also got a couple of postcards and a booklet. And uh, really looking forward to taking us around this one and showing us exactly what it looks like. And that will be coming very, very soon. Now, I have to tell you, Connor, I'm very happy with this release, even though you weren't too crazy about it. I think what happened with Connor was, basically, he rang me one morning. And he told me that he got himself one as well. And he, he thought it was one of Umbrella's worst releases. And I think basically what happened was he was expecting it to be a 4K, uh, a 4K edition. But it's not. It's a Blu-ray release. But I knew that going into it. And I think what happened was it almost had this kind of a knock-on knock -on effect for Connor. Uh, not only that, but he, <laughs> he watched the movie and um, he wasn't crazy about it. He really, really wasn't. Now, I am very curious myself. I haven't gotten around to watching it as of yet, unfortunately. But I will be checking it out very, very soon. But I don't have much hopes for it, if I'm completely honest. I've seen it once. I think I remember enjoying it back in the day. But maybe it's one of those movies that I should keep in the past. Now, I know there is a huge fan base out there for it. But everybody seems to have that nostalgic tie towards this movie. And I can tell you now, I absolutely do not have that. I'd probably be more nostalgic towards the actual cartoon than the movie itself. But I am intrigued and uh, I am looking forward to checking it out. I think Connor did say to me that the Blu-ray does look rather nice on this one. Uh, I just think he was really hoping for it to be a 4K release. And you never know, Connor, maybe in time when the kind of dust settles down on this release, you might feel very, very differently about it. You might not change your mind on the movie, but you might feel differently about the set itself. So, uh, Connor... Thank you so much, my friend. I, I really am happy with this release. I really, really am. Regardless of what I think of the movie, uh, it is, it's a beautiful addition. Uh, it's going to be a, a, proud, a proud entry into my ever-growing Umbrella uh, Entertainment Collection. And it is all down to you. All the credit goes to you, my friend. And uh, thank you once again for such an incredibly kind gift. Right, folks. So I'm going to take us around this. And I'm going to show you everything that's inside it. I hope you like it. Right, so here we go, Masters of the Universe. So like I said at the start of this video, it does come in this nice, hard, rigid box. You simply got He-Man on the cover holding a gun and you'll notice that everything that you see there has a lovely bit of spot glossing to it. Uh, of course, you've got Skeletor on the top, you've got the young cast at the bottom, Masters of the Universe, nice bit of spot glossing as well, the live action motion picture. I love the color scheme to this. It actually went through different variants, and I'm so happy the Umbrella stuck with this one. It looks so much better, uh, particularly when you stack it up against the one they were going to stick with. Uh, it looked quite horrible. So that's the main artwork. You'll notice on the top there as well that it continues. You can sort of see the top of um, Skeletor's head. There's nothing on the bottom. And then right onto the spine, you simply got Masters of the Universe, and all of that has spot glossing as well. And you'll notice that the kind of picture is continuating uh, through the entire release. And then right around to the back, you've got a battle fought in the stars. Now comes the Earth. And I think there's a city there in the background. And uh, the writing does have a uh, spot glossing to it, as you can see. Uh, the only thing I don't like is you can sort of see this frame up here. It's down at the top and the bottom. Not quite sure why it's there. I don't remember seeing it on um, other Umbrella editions, but it probably is there. One little, one little nitpick to a, a stunning release. So that is the back artwork, not much to see there. Uh, this is all its contents, nicely snug in there. 
So open it up. And the first thing I wanted to quickly show you is, is the J card. Uh, it was just actually just stuck on by one glue spot and uh, it kept falling off. But as you can see, look at this. This was, this is what the artwork was originally meant to be. That's what I'm saying. It looked absolutely horrible, but it is very strange that they kept it on the J card. Uh, that's, that's a bit of a mistake. Uh, they, shouldn't, they shouldn't have done that. But as you can see, you've got the uh, special features there on the bottom, quite a bit there. Uh, it is a numbered edition, uh, 3000. I got 1,495. So that is the J. Uh, thankfully, it does fit into that box. It's nice to have that option. Right, so on to the standard Amore release. This is the slip cover. And as you can see, the artwork is very, very different. And that's exactly what you want to see when it comes to releases like this. So that entire picture has a lovely bit of spark loss into it. And it's the same again. A battle fought in the stars, now comes to Earth. So uh, I don't know if that's the original artwork for this movie. Something's telling me it might be. Uh, I'm sure you'll let me know in the comment section. So uh, that's the spine of this one. And right around to the back, again, you've just got He-Man. And you kind of got that got blue and white color behind him. Uh, only the universe could hold adventure this big. And then the credits down the bottom. So that's the slip cover. Uh, open it up. And once again, you've got very different artwork. So again, you've got uh, He-Man and Skeletor on this one. There is quite a bit going on uh, with this artwork. I'm not quite sure what it all means because I honestly do not remember the movie, but I'm sure Die Hard fans would be very happy with what they see here. So uh, there is a reversible artwork in this set, but the only difference is one of them has credits on it where the other one doesn't. So again, it's always nice to have that option to get rid of those uh, uh, them rating stickers. Sorry. So uh, that is the back of the box. And I will open it up. You've got a poster inside, which I'll show you quickly. And that is your Blu-ray disc. So, right, let me close that up and I'll just quickly put this back in. If it will go in, there we go. So that's the slip cover and the Amore edition. So as you can see, there is a poster. I'm gonna put it this way, just so I can kind of get it in frame. You should be able to get an idea of what it's all about. I think this is a double-sided poster. So as you can see, that was the artwork that was actually on the uh, the Amore. And then when you turn it around, I think that's the artwork that's on the actual slip cover itself. So that is your double-sided poster. Uh, you've got a booklet here. Uh, it's quite a sizable, well, yeah, there's quite a bit there going on in terms of uh, the write-up of this booklet. Uh, again, all different artwork as well. Uh, on the back, you've simply got the, the director's chair. It has He-Man written on it. Or the actor's chair, I should say. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so this uh, booklet is dedicated. You can see there's actually, there's just so much going on. You kind of got concept art. There's also a write-up. Uh, quite a bit going on in this booklet. That's the one thing I have to give credit when it comes to Umbrella Entertainment. The booklets are quite, there's quite a lot going on with them. Uh, they cover the movie, you know, the cast, everything. So that's the book. I don't want to spend too much time with it. The video will go on far too long. And then to end the video, we have got um, your uh, simple postcards uh, that do have this, yeah, I won't say... It's a high gloss finish, but not as high gloss as I come to expect. You see better ones on other editions like Film Arena. So as you can see, it's just covering a lot of the characters from the actual movie itself. So there you have it. I think I've gone through them all. I think it is. Uh, there's probably around, what have we got? Five, maybe nine of them, ten of them all together. And there's nothing on the back. So there you have it, folks. I'm going to just do a quick recap. So you've got your uh, postcards... You've got your booklet as well, uh, your poster that sits inside the Amore. You've got the uh, Amore with the slip cover, and then of course the beautiful hard rigid box that it all comes in. Uh, I think it's a beautiful release. I'm so happy with it. Right, folks, so there you have it. That is my Masters of the Universe edition. And once again, I want to do a big shout out to my good friend Connor Gray for sending this beautiful edition my way. I couldn't be happier, Connor. And uh, as a matter of fact, Connor actually told me a couple of days ago he has another Umbrella Entertainment release coming my way. 
Uh, I've never seen this movie. It is a huge deal. I'm not going to say anything in this video, but I honestly cannot wait to get this title in my hands. It's a 4K release, and to finally tick this one off my list is going to be such a huge deal for me. So uh, a huge thank you again, Connor. So there you have it, folks. So as per usual, if you did like what you see here, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you could do, leave a comment down below and please do share your thoughts in this very kind gesture of Connor. And yeah, I hope to see you all again real soon with my next video. Until then, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.